It's time! And it's Force Friday. To help us celebrate, Entertainment Earth has sent us these two Star Wars egg attack statues from Beast Kingdom. And guess what, Mix? What? They have a second R2-D2 statue for us to give away to one of you guys. You ready, Mix? Ready! Let's do it! Alright guys, Entertainment Earth has done it again, this time for Force Friday, sent us two Star Wars Beast Kingdom egg attack statues, they light up, they talk, can't wait to get into the boxes, we've been doing so much Entertainment Earth stuff, it's ridiculous, we have a big box right here, don't we mix, mm -hmm. I'm not going to pull it up because this is how <laughs> big it is, but we ordered the stuff in there and we can't wait to show you that either, we got it on a major deal, they had a major markdown deal, that's what they called it, I don't know what it was called, they have sales and deals every single day and you know why we order from them you know why we order from them don't you mix yeah I do that's because they have a mint guarantee they have a low price guarantee and they have a 90 day hassle free return policy so get down in the description below after this video and after you enter the giveaway click the link go over to the website entertainmentearth.com buy yourself something possibly on sale if not they have an entire rogue one store right now so if you love star wars that's what you want to be doing so get over there and bring hollywood home but right now mix let's take these guys out of their boxes and into their new home Let's start with R2-D2. Yeah. So here's the pieces of R2 that comes in the box, you guys. Um, we're not going to show you all the packaging and the styrofoam. There was a lot. and It took a while to get it undone. So. Multiple plastic bags and wrapping and more wrapping and yeah. more plastic bags. So if you do ever order one of these, you know it's safe <laughs> no matter where you live. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So tell them about the box mix and then we'll put this together and light them up. So it's a nice matte black box with a silver R2 on the front and the Star Wars logo. This is um, R2-D2 EA-015. It's a so model there, number. There are Kingdom. different model numbers okay. and there's even some different um, R2s and C-3PO's. I think one's like a double set or something. Mm -hmm. So then it has that on the side as well. Both sides are the same. And then on the back it has a really cool little picture of R2-D2 and it says some specs about him. So the lighting function of R2-D2 100% matches the original movie setting. Activation button on head plays sound effects and classic quotes from Star Wars movies. R2-D2's classical blue and white armor is represented in exquisite detail. Carbon freezing chamber light up figure base. All right, so what do you want to show first, Mix? I did notice when we were taking it out of the box that it is a limited edition. I'm not sure how many were made, but what is that number mix? I think it says 0479, but the four is a little... Questionable? Squ squiggly, so I'm not sure. But okay. it has uh, all the information on the bottom. Star Wars, the model number, limited edition, Egg Attack, Beast Kingdom, Lucasfilm. Nice. So all the information you need. Okay, and a little button there to turn it on. Don't do it yet, Mix. We gotta save it. Let's put our two together first. Okay, so the R2 comes with his base, and then when we unpackaged him, there's a little tab for the, the battery, and there's a little battery spot there, and then there's the switch for him to turn on. So his head just like pops on really easily. Is it magnetized? Did he? Um, it doesn't really feel, it feels maybe a little bit magnetized, but he just... Just, just a tad? Just a tad. <laughs> it, it could be, but because he just, his head sits right on top, I mean it doesn't really need, need much. It? Okay. No, because he's not going anywhere. Alright, so he so just sits in there. He looks safely. so cute. I wouldn't turn him upside down and chance it. No, don't, don't risk it. And then he just sits on his little carbon chamber base so okay. this is just like the, one peg there right yeah just one peg and i like that this is like the floor of the carbon chamber where yeah, that's awesome gets. light it up base turns on and then his head that lights up you guys Whoa. turns on and lights up so inside there you turn on the switch yeah you turn on the switch okay and then once that's on he'll be lit up and there's a little button on the back of his head there That is so cool. I like how that's his quote. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So so how many different things does he say? I think or they beep? each say three different things. Each yeah. of them say three I different things? I think there's three different sequence of beeps that he does. Okay. I that's like this cool. little light on the side because it's changing colors. Nice. And then there's the green and orange flashing light and he's got his blue and red lights on the front there. I think this one's about five inches tall. Yeah. He's got little wires coming out of his 
feet, for lack of a better <laughs> term. Um, <laughs> and then feet. <laughs> they're his feet. Um, sometimes he doesn't always have his third foot out, but in this one he's leaned back in his kind of strolling pose, and he's got the third foot extended down. And his, he's got all his like little panels and everything and like all his gadgets. It looks really cool. He doesn't articulate it or anything and nothing kind of moves on him. But it, it actually like Except looks like things could pop out of him. Yeah, the lights. <laughs> and his head comes off. But he looks so good. He just like, he just looks like a perfect tiny little RTD2. What I, what I really guy. like, I mean, we'll see when we put the C3PO up and um, check them out together. But I really like how this base piece looks cool on its own, but from what we've seen in pictures and everything, it looks really cool when they're together, together as well, yeah. you know? So either way, you know, you have a chance to win R2-D2 alone, but it still looks cool alone. And then if you do get the C-3PO later yeah. or whatever, I they, believe ju there's they even... join, right? Do they connect or we'll no, see in a second. I think they just fit kind of side by side, okay. but I think there's also like a Kylo Ren and a few other ones. So I think you could get a whole Does it make a one. circle? I, I'm sure it does. I don't know how many there are though. But there's a few different characters. That sounds pretty cool. <laughs> Let's get the C-3PO out, Mix. All right, guys, with the magic of editing, here is C-3PO out of his box, the base, and he comes in two pieces as well. But tell us a little bit about the box first, Mix. So it's the same matte black box with the silver C-3PO on the front. His model number is EA016. And then he's on both of the sides. And then there's the picture of him on the back, and he looks really cool. He's just so gold and shiny, and <laughs> it says, The lighting function of C-3PO 100% follows the original movie setting. Activation button on head plays sound effects and classic quotes from Star Wars movies. Carbon freezing chamber light up figure base. And C-3PO's gold armor and silver right leg is represented in exquisite detail. Okay, so where is the button on him? It looked like it was pointing towards his mouth, was it? Mitch? Yeah. All right. So, what is the base number that we got here? Limited edition what? So this is 0576. 0576. Yep. Same logos, Star Wars, Egg yep. Attack, and Beast Kingdom. All the same information. All right. And then there's the little button on this one. You know what I was surprised there? by when I lifted him up on the table? C-3PO is a lot heavier oh, yeah. than I expected him to be. Yeah, he's right? quite heavy. He's a lot heavier than R2-D2. I thought he was going to be super light and feel hollow for some reason. Yeah, no, he but feels really yeah, heavy, yeah. Really heavy. Um, so his head detaches, and then he has the little switch on the back of his head, and there was a little battery tab there that we pulled out. <laughs> nice. So his head fits on there. He has a little... Um, That's magnetized. This is magnetized for sure. Nice. His little piece coming off his head that makes me like a little bit worried that it will scratch this but oh, yeah. it doesn't really seem to hit it just actually like touches oh yeah if you just pull that off quick you might yeah. pull it up that way and yeah scratch exactly it. although with c3po he's so tarnished and like banged up looking that even on his head it it probably wouldn't even notice a scratch because or it would just look cool yeah it, it would blend in <laughs> so he looks really cool his uh button to make him talk is on his mouth he just pushed it in Nice. <laughs> so I love him. His eyes light up and he has so much tarnish on him. You can see the wires in his torso there. He um, has his little silver leg. Mm, so nice. he's like... Does he have a bomb in there? <laughs> <laughs> he's so battle damaged and just like... He's seen some like hard times, this poor guy. But he looks really good. He's got little, like, I don't know, what are those? Like, little hydraulics, it looks like, in his arm pieces. And then he's got a lot of, like, really cool detail all in his fingers and in the little, like, joints on his legs and everything. So, again, this one doesn't articulate or anything. Just the button to make him talk, and then he lights up. And then he fits on his stand one, here. One peg, same thing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, you can put them together. All right. Well, let's light them up. Oh, wait. <laughs> I you love can... that light up base. <laughs> so cool. All right, so we put them together. You and kind of put them together in a circle. Yeah, you can also kind of change the way he stands oh, on his right. peg. Yeah, they could face so... each other, right? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> R2 didn't want that to happen. Oh, that's an excited Wait. sound, right? Yeah. Get him on there, Mix. 
So right, when, you can put him anyway. When you turn R2, he kind of will go off his base right. a little bit if you have it like that, but it's cool that you can make them kind of face each other. Yeah. And if you want like these to kind of sit in a different direction, yeah. they, they just can be displayed however. Oh you yeah, can you add, could do something really cool if you had the other statues you were talking about. Ooh. All fit together. Yeah, exactly. Get out of there. I'll get a mix. <laughs> You're scaring me. All right. But yeah, so it does make it so you can kind of display them in a line more as well. Well, he is hard to get in there, Mix. You were right. It wasn't just you. Keep his head on for me, Mix. <laughs> there we go. So I kind of like them like this. I think they look cool. Yeah, I like that as well. So what do you think, Mix? I love these guys. I think they are so cool. Yeah, they look really cool. They look especially cool in low light. Yes. Right? Um, I wish they had a remote. You know? Oh, yeah. So if they were on the shelf and you were sitting on the couch and you could just, <laughs> you know, play them. Play them. Or even knowing. turn them on. Yeah. But yeah, you gotta switch their heads on. Yeah. You actually then... gotta get off the couch, walk on. <laughs> <laughs> but it's cool that they stay lit up. They don't yeah. turn off. You have to turn them off. So. Yeah. And also, he's supposed to be six inches. I think he's a little oh. taller than that. Yeah. If he's supposed to be five and he's supposed to be six, I don't know. Maybe he might be closer to four and he might be a little taller. Sure. Maybe I'll get out the measuring tape and I'll let you know on Instagram. <laughs> All right? Follow us on Instagram at <laughs> Unboxing Rocks. All right, guys. So as I said at the beginning of the video, we are giving away an R2-D2 to one of you lucky winners. And here's how you enter. It's really simple. Just go in the description below, click the link that takes you over to our website, and you will see a whole bunch of ways to enter. You can get multiple entries, and it's really simple. How fast is it to enter mix how many seconds like probably three three and she's exaggerating it's more like <laughs> one or two all right so get over there now and get yourself multiple chances to win this awesome beast kingdom star wars egg attack r2d2 light up statue and also don't forget to go to entertainment earth and check out all the star wars stuff that they have available of course they have everything available that you could possibly imagine but they have a lot of Star Wars stuff. They have a whole Rogue One section of awesome new stuff for sale. Just, just go over there, okay, and check it out. I almost started to tell you all about it, and then my mind saw everything they had, and then I knew I wasn't going to be able to follow through and tell you everything they have, so please just click the link and go there. And thank you very much to Entertainment Earth for hooking us up again for these awesome statues to review, plus, the opportunity to give one away to one of you guys. I mean, it's awesome that they always do that. And you guys are awesome for always supporting our channel, liking, loving, sharing, liking again, loving again, sharing. You guys do it a lot. And that is why we get to do this stuff. And don't forget to leave us a comment, you guys, all right? Because we like chatting at you. You know that. In fact, let's make them choose, Mix. Nothing to do with the giveaway, okay? Because the giveaway is R2. That doesn't count. Put that <laughs> out of your mind. If you had to choose between R2-D2 and C-3PO, which one would you choose? Do it in the comments. And while you're down there, look up. And if you see an icon that looks a little something like this, click it and give us a thumbs up. Right, Mix? Right. And what else? Subscribe. Subscribe to our channel because we want you to be notified when we announce the winner. Because what if it was you and you missed it? As always, guys, we appreciate you watching. Thank you very much. You guys and Entertainment Earth and Star Wars and Force Friday rock.